I just got back from a pretty big trip. I've just been to NASA, Miami, and New York. And I thought, what better time to make a what's in my camera sling travel edition. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over the bag itself, how I packed it for my trip, how I'd pack it for other trips, and answer a few common questions about the bag itself. So the bag itself, this is the eight litre McKinnon Nomatic Sling. That's quite a mouthful, but I got this from Gomatic, which is their European division. However, if you do live in the UK, you can get it from Amazon and it's cheaper on Amazon. Link in description, you're welcome. So the bag itself is made from all those same materials that they make all their other bags. It's that nylon with the poly material. It's water resistant and it's extremely durable. So it's, it's what you'd want to put your camera equipment in. Into. It's safe. Now it's got loops on the front and on the bottom, so if you do decide that you want to take a little travel tripod with you, you have multiple mounting options. And it also has a quite nicely padded shoulder strap that is adjustable, and it even has an extra little loop here for you to be able to attach another point of contact, I suppose, just so it's more secure on you. Spin it around, you have a pass-through on the back. Now this means that you don't always have to carry it all the way through the airport and customs. It means you can literally slide this thing over the handles for your carry-on luggage and just wheel it everywhere. So my setup consists of a Canon R5 body. <laughs> Now I packed this without a lens attached to it because the lens adds a lot more length to it and therefore takes up so much more space. So I keep this thing stood upright at all times. Of course I have to keep a 15 to 35 in there because walking around cities such as New York, you wanna be able to take really wide angle photos, just get everything in one big picture, especially when you go up to the top of that Rockefeller. Oh. This photo that I took is one of my favorite photos. It's now my desktop on my computer. It's now my wallpaper on my phone. It is everywhere. I've always loved mountains and lakes and things like that in the countryside. However, just New York just has this special place for me. I don't know what it is, but it's just, ah. Oh. Now the reason I keep a 70 to 200 rather than like a standard 50 mil or an 85 or anything like that is because I want that variable zoom. If I don't know how far away something is, I want to be able to dial that in on the spot. And if you haven't seen my video on why I think this is the best lens ever made, then I'll leave a link up there. Now to fit this lens in the bag, of course, with the other lens and the camera body, I would advise removing the tripod mount. If you think about it, that's an extra battery or two stacked up against the side of this lens. So I personally would advise removing the tripod mount. Now in the front, we have these SD card pouches. Now in here, this is the perfect size for an Apple AirTag. It just fits so snugly in there that it's never coming out. So if anybody decides to just yank the sling from me, cut the strap and run away from me with it, then at least I know where it is. And of course, next to that, I do keep a spare SD card because let's face it, when you're on vacation, holiday, whatever you want to call it, you do get a little bit trigger happy with that shutter. And below that, in these bigger mesh pockets, I keep my batteries with the stickers facing upwards if they're out of battery and downwards if they're full of battery. Now, you could mark up the batteries yourself with your own stickers, but these pirate stickers that come with the Nomatic battery pouch are nice and reflective, so it's easy to see at a quick glance which ones are dead. Now the two bigger mesh pockets attach to the main compartment. Now in this side, I kept a variable ND filter, which now looking back was a massive mistake because this setup leans more towards photography than anything else. I wish I'd have taken something like a mist filter or a circular polarizer, something like that would have been way better. But unfortunately, I took a variable ND, didn't use it once. In the pouch next to that is where I keep my passport. Quick access when I go to the gate, uh, boarding pass or anything like that, just quickly show them the passport and then pop it straight back in. Now moving back to the front portion with that mesh zipper. Inside here as well, keep cash and bank cards. That way if I ever do open the bag, nobody can clearly see cash or bank cards, therefore reducing the risk of stealing. However, what I also do carry in here is Yorkshire tea. Now don't worry, you are seeing that correctly. I keep tea bags in my camera sling. You never know what kind of tea they give you. And in America, they, they leave the bag in, which is just, what? So at least if all else fails, I can have a decent cup of tea. 
So that's how I set up this camera sling for my trip. Now, how would I pack it if I was going on a different kind of trip? Let's say we're going on more of a action kind of holiday, Dubai, sand dunes, quad bikes, things like that. So in this case, I shall be chucking in the GoPro. Personally, I would much rather have a DJI action cam. I just think their dynamic range is way better. You can take the drone, throw that in this section here, throw the controller in there and still have room down the side for more. And then you got all this front section for spare batteries, SD cards, cables, whatever you need to put in here. Accessories, ND filters, all of that. There is so much room if you just want to take GoPros and drones. Say you're ripping dune buggies through some trails where they've got a little bit of water and it's splashing up and things like that. Not to worry, it's water resistant. Now what about gorilla run and gun kind of video styles? Well, you can also pack it for that as well. So I would take a Canon R5 with a 15 to 35 or a 24 to 70 if you have one for more versatility. Throw in the Sennheiser MKE 400 because it has that built-in windshield. Polar Pro variable ND filter, two to five stops. Now I'm choosing the PG Tech Mantis pod simply because it's, it's the multi-tool of tripods. It's got the iPhone mount inside. You can attach it to trees with this little lip that sticks out of it. Say you want to take that group selfie. Group selfie, that doesn't make sense. That makes literally zero sense. Now let's answer some of your questions. These are questions that I got on my previous What's In My Camera Sling video. If you haven't seen that video, I do a little bit more of an in-depth review of the camera sling itself. So I'll leave a link to that up here. Number one is, I guess you have to unzip it all the way down just to get to the camera. Uh, yes, that tends to be how bags work. You have to unzip it and get your camera gear out. I think your concern is obviously opening it up and it fully fanning itself open and then exposing everything to everybody else. Now, unfortunately, yes, it does do that, that if it opened, however, if it didn't open as much as it did, you wouldn't physically be able to take your camera out. So, however, I've never found how much this thing opens to be a problem. So to answer the question, yes, you need to open the bag to be able to take things out. Question two, does the AirPods Max fit in there some way? Let's test this. AirPods Max, um, I suppose if you had nothing else in there, you could probably, mm, I mean, I, I personally don't see the point. I mean, they don't fit in there very well and it's very close to fitting in there at all. But I mean, I suppose their AirPods just maybe wear them around your neck. So to answer the question, they do. It's a bit of a squeeze. I would probably just recommend to stick with wearing them on your head. Does the zipper interior compartment fit a passport? Yes, it does. You can fit an entire UK passport in there stood upright and zip it up. Question number four, will it fit an iPad Pro 11 inch with no keyboard? Funnily enough, I have one of those right here. So let's see. I mean, I don't know, I don't know. I think you may very well be struggling with this one. Let's see. I mean, it's definitely not gonna go in that way. Let's face it. Oh, let's... I mean, my answer would be no. I probably wouldn't try that. An iPad mini, yes, 100% an iPad mini, but an iPad Pro 11 inch, no. So that's the travel edition of what's in my camera sling. If you wanna watch what's in my camera bag, then you can do so here. Like, comment, subscribe, do all the stuff you already love to do. I'll see you in the next one. Shitty.